All right, what's going on, guys? We're made it back at it again in here for the video for you guys for today. And today, I am in here for pretty much thoughts, not really review on Hardcore Justice 2011. And I didn't really get to see, you know, the whole pay per view overall, but, you know, I did get to see, you know, a good amount of matches. And from what I saw uh, with the matches, you know, uh, I did enjoy. Um, Towards the end, I didn't really care for, and I, you know, just didn't really see the rest of the whole pay-per-view. Uh, but with some of the results that, uh, you know, I've been, you know, seeing, uh, you know, since I didn't really get to see the whole thing, um, I will talk about that a little bit as well. And uh, some things I liked and didn't like, and, uh, you know, with that being said, let's not waste any much more time. And let's get into the matches that I did get to see, and, uh, you know, I did get to enjoy, however, and uh, we did kick things off in a good way. Uh, which I did like. We got the X Division Championship, which was first. We got Alex Shelley taking on Austin Aries and Brian Kendrick. And what was a good back and forth matchup uh, between all these guys. And uh, I like all these guys too, so I really couldn't win either way. But my main pick was Brian Kendrick. And uh, does he exactly get to win and retain his X Division Championship? Well, I will get into that in just a little bit. But just, you know, running things out and what we did get to see in this match. Like I mentioned, it was a good back and forth matchup, and uh, all these guys trying to prove themselves who wants the X Division Championship more. Uh, we see the drop kick here, and, you know, the running clothesline as well. Of course, everyone involved in, in the way some double team moves, but it was really every man for himself here. Uh, we see the roll up attempts as well as the atomic drop in this one, and as well as the flying elbow. Uh, we also did get to see a double suicide. Uh, dive too as well, which is pretty epic by uh, Austin Aries taking it to Alex Shelley and Brian Kendrick on the outside. Uh, so uh, that was really cool with that one as well. Uh, we see the crossface, which I believe was done by Alex Shelley. Uh, I don't know if that was done by Austin Aries, if I remember correctly. So that was you know cool to see. Uh, we see the super kick, uh, you know, from the ring apron by Alex Shelley to Austin Aries, which is cool. Uh, we see the spinning figure four as well. And that in the end, Brian Kendrick, yes, does end up retaining the X Division Championship and winning that whole match entirely. So uh, it was a good match to say the least. And, uh, you know, with that being said, we might see, uh, I'm not too sure if it's going to be a singles match or not, uh, but we'll have to wait and see uh, if this feud is going to continue or have Brian Kendrick take on, um, you know, Austin Aries in a singles match for the next uh, pay per view. We'll have to wait and see on, you know, how that's going to turn out. Uh, so, uh, you know, that's when it comes to that one, pretty much. So that was a good way to kick things off there. Uh, next match, we have the Knockouts match. It's not for the Knockouts Championship, but it is for the Knockouts Tag Team Championships. We got Tara and Miss Tess Mocker taking on Serena and Rosita. And, uh, you know, Serena, once again, you know, coming out with the masks, too. So it looks like it's going to be permanently and that, you know, with coming out with the Luchas luchador type style on, you know, mask and everything like that, so I uh, didn't really like the uh, mask that she has, uh, she kind of went with a different mask, but that's just me, but I'm uh, not really going to complain about it too much, so uh, the match in itself was a good, uh, you know, knockouts tag team match, and uh, running things down on what we did get to see here. Of course, we're going to see the double team moves and everyone getting involved, of course, you know, with this tag team match. Uh, we see the clothesline here, you know, the Hurricane as well. We see a couple of attempts by uh, the Widow's Peak by Tara, but that pretty much failing as well. Um, like I said, the double teams, everyone getting involved. Uh, you know, the kicks as well as, you know, a couple of arm drags and stuff like that. We see some good back and forth stuff and pretty much from both t uh, tag teams in this one. But in the end, we do get to see the Widow's Peak, and that's right. Um, you know, Miss Tessmacher and Tara end up retaining the Knockouts Tag Team Championships, so nothing really too much to complain about there. And I am happy that Tara and Miss Tessmacher are holding on to the go just a little while longer, which is a good thing when it comes to that. So, uh, you know, good for uh, Tara and Miss Tessmacher winning and retaining the championships there, so that's it when it comes to that one. Uh, moving along, the next match, you know, I didn't really care for it at all, and it was, you know, an okay match, so I wasn't really that much into it or uh, really paying attention, but we did have Pope versus d for the Battle for the Series match. We had Matt Morgan on commentary saying how, you know, he wished he was in this match and, uh, you know, wanting to be in the Battle for the Series for this matchup as well, and that uh, the whole stuff with that, but anyway... You know, we did get to see, you know, some altercation with uh, Devon's kids in this, uh, which I didn't really care for. And it looks like, you know, Devon is really going to uh, 
So I guess you know being the heel and Pope is gonna be the face. You know, I, I don't really know who's really the uh, the heel or face, so I definitely care when it comes to that. Um, you know, one of the things I'm a little bit when we did get to see, you know, see the slabs here. Uh, in the beginning, uh, Pope was looking to lay down for Devon, so uh, having Devon, you know, get uh, was still pretty much there, but that didn't happen. Devon really wanted to have a matchup. Um, you know, let me see the, the uppercut here as well in this match, and uh, Alright, so I apologize for that brief uh, distraction, you know, that just goes to show how much, uh, you know, that I didn't really care for that matchup, but uh, anyway, I was getting into, uh, you know, a Pope and Devon, and in the end, uh, you know, with that being said, and who did get to win this match, and Pope ended up uh, defeating Devon in this one, uh, which is fun too, and you know, didn't really want to see Devon get to win, and uh, Pope ended up winning uh, overall, and getting some points, which is fun, so... Uh, anyway, like I said, didn't really care too much about the match, but that's it when it really comes to that. But anyway, yes, we do get into, right after that, the Knockouts Championship, which was on the line. We got Mickey James taking on Winder in this one, and of course, you know, I was 100% going with Mickey James. And, uh, you know, it really couldn't win either way, so I wasn't really entirely that, uh, you know, pissed off if Winter did win. And did she get the win? I will get to that. In just a little bit, of course, we know we have uh, Angelina Love as well, you know, with Winter and with that one. And uh, with this one, it was kind of in a way treated like a lumberjack match. Uh, we had, you know, Angelina Love, you know, having a lot of, uh, you know, interferences every time, you know, where Mickey uh, would get to the ropes or, you know, get to the outside, which I don't really like in that case. In that case, you know, Angelina Love should have at least been, you know, uh, rejected from ringside and have, you know, uh, you know, just a plain old singles match without, you know, Angelina getting involved, you know, things like that really, you know, pissed me off, and that, you know, could have been, you know, better, you know, with a plain old singles match, but, you know, it happens, but anyway, when he thinks that, and we, we did get to see, it was a pretty good match, you know, overall, uh, so I'm not, you know, really got to complain about it, um, you know, what we did get to see here, uh, we see, you know, uh, you know, Boston Crack 2 in this, you know, see a couple of roll up attempts as well, I uh, you know, the drop kick and the face plant, and that, uh, you know, at times it was mainly winter, and that, uh, you know, of course, with the help of Angelina Love, which I, uh, you know, of course, didn't really care for. Uh, we see the face plants here, you know, ball to the outside, like I mentioned as well. Uh, we see the clothesline as well as the back elbow, as well as the lift that's from the top rope, as well. Uh, of course, you know, those uh, Angelina Love interferences and the DDT from the uh, top rope, but in the end, we do get to see, yes, Winter does end up defeating uh, Mickey James uh, with the, uh, actually the miss that actually uh, Tajiri used to do by Winter uh, was doing this one in this match too, uh, to end things all off, so I didn't really like how it ended like that, but I will give it to Winter, and you know, I'm not really going to complain too much because Mickey James, that's why right, we'll get it back, I'm sure. Uh, she's basically, you know, going to do um, more singing now and I'm uh, working on a new album, which I cannot wait for. So I will, you know, give Winter a chance to see how she's going to uh, have a run with the championship and, and the way she does deserve it. So uh, I do like Winter and, uh, you know, did I really like the win? Not exactly. Uh, you know, how the matchup, you know, went on and stuff like that. Didn't really care for it too much, but, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to see what's going to happen with this. Maybe we'll see. Uh, this rivalry continue, and uh, you know, Mickey James, I'm sure, maybe by Battle of Glory, uh, you know, will capture the Knockouts Championship once again. So, not really too much complaining about that. So, uh, that's it when it comes to that. But overall, it was a pretty good match, so uh, nothing really too much to complain about. So, that's it when it comes to that one. Uh, next match, we got uh, right after that another Battle of Glory series match uh, RVD versus Crimson. And for whatever it's worth, it was a good match. Uh, until a certain point, which I didn't really care for, and, uh, you know, running things down briefly, and what we did get to see in this match here, uh, you know, we see, uh, cover after cover as well, and the both guys trying to get the win, uh, kind of early, and to advance into the Battle Glory series here, uh, we see the Rolling Thunder by RVD, uh, we see the Neck Breaker, as well as the Ball to the Outside by both of these guys, and, uh, as well as the Moonsault by RVD, the Standing Moonsault as well, uh, and, you know, moves off from the top rope pretty much, and uh, the uh, front suplex, and as well as the flux splash, which doesn't actually help RVD, neither does the spear for Crimson as well, so both guys in a way kicking out of their finishers, and uh, also, we did have Jalen watching at ring ringside, 
and uh, which I believe when Crimson was about to get the win, uh, you know, um, Jerry Lynn does get the uh, interference and, uh, you know, ruins the match, for, uh, has a run in for no reason, pretty much, and uh, looks like we might have to, uh, well, I'm going to see uh, Jerry Lynn versus RVD again, which I don't really want to see. Uh, we really had that at the last pay-per-view, so I don't know what's really going to come. Uh, you know, with that, I did like the whole Jamie Lynn running, you know, it was going good for what it was worth, um, so, you know, uh, Crimson does end up winning overall, uh, you know, with the running, and uh, RVD ends up losing, so that's it when it comes to that, so, uh, anyway, getting into, uh, some of the matches here that I didn't really get to see, and we'll talk about them briefly, uh, we have the Tag Team Championships, uh, you know, retaining, uh, with BM Money winning the match, uh, you know, which is good, so, um, you know, I didn't really get to see the, uh, match exactly, but I am happy with the end result there, with, uh, BM Money getting the win. I would have liked to see, uh, you know, what BM Money can do on their own, but, you know, with them winning, that's just as fun, so, uh, you know, nothing really too much to complain about there. Uh, the World Heavyweight Championship matchup between Kurt Angle and Sting, we do, yes, have a new World Heavyweight Champion in Kurt Angle, and, uh, you know, with that being said, uh, he pretty much, in a way, joined in more than which I don't like, but at least, you know, he is still uh, the World Heavyweight Champion, and, uh, you know, hopefully Kurt Angle will actually keep the championship and not lose it, since, you know, the championship keeps changing hands, you know, pretty much uh, day in and day out, so uh, hopefully the championship will stay on Kurt Angle and at least have some sort of good run with it, so uh, that's pretty much it when you know when it comes to my thoughts on Hardcore Justice from last night. Let me know what you guys thought on uh, the entire show itself, what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it, what you, you thought it could have been different, and uh, that about does it for this week's uh, you know, review and thoughts on Hardcore Justice, and as always I will talk to you guys later on. Peace.